everybody. Gina DeLuca here. Okay, I'm going to do another attempt at this rose. I want to nail this. So I have again the Arteza. Ah, the set 32 uh, pouring acrylic colors. There you can see. These are pre mixed and ready to go. And I love the results I've been getting with them uh, when I'm going for the rose. They're doing their parts. It's user error why I'm not getting my perfect rose. It needs to be perfect. <laughs> um, real quick, uh, if you have not been getting updates when I, or notifications when I upload, there's a bell up top. You need to click that bell to be notified of all uh, new uploads. So if you've clicked the bell and it's not working, then unclick it and click it again. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of people say that they have not been getting the notifications. And one person said they only got four notifications out of my last 39 videos. That's not good. So... Do check that out. In the meantime, let me show you these real quick. If you've seen this already, then you can fast forward to the pouring. These are the Fluid Art Inspiration cards. There's 52 cards. There are 42 different techniques. And each technique has an associated video for a complete how-to, including consistency of your paint and which paints I used. There's a little tip box, you know, just a little pro tip. And then you have your color palette on the bottom. And each uh, technique card is arranged the same way. And also the, uh, the boxes, these two boxes are meant to go together. If you wanted to do a two color pour, or if you wanted to do those two colors and add white or black, what have you. And then there are eight bonus color palette cards, each one having five color palettes. And you can use all the colors. You can just choose a couple of the colors, choose a couple colors and add white or black. But basically, if you're having a hard time coming up with ideas or you just want to challenge yourself with something you haven't tried before or a palette you haven't tried before, you can choose a card randomly or you can just pick and choose and say, hey, I haven't done that technique yet. All right, down to business. Vermilion Red. Mid yellow, rose pink, and neon pink. Generally, I wear a specific paint shirt and or an apron. And right now I just wasn't wearing either and I just wiped my hand on my unblemished shirt. I guess I have a new, new paint shirt. There you go. Silly me. Okay, we have a cup here. I'm gonna put some paint in it. I'm going to start with the vermilion. And now the yellow. <laughs> 
some of this pink for a highlight. And then our fluorescent pink. Okay, I have about four ounces of paint in here, plenty for this 10 by 10 canvas, which is all my Lazy Susan. Okay, let's see what happens. And make sure I go in the right direction this time. I did it wrong again. <laughs> Why do I feel compelled to go in the wrong direction? Ah, Philly. Let me see if I can just Fix that little swirl a bit. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Don't need this anymore anyway. Ever have one of those days, y'all? <sighs> okay. And I forgot my gloves. Some days you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. not usually a circular swirler but Let me just uh, make this a little easier on myself with what I've got left in here.
it's interesting kind of looks like a rose i'm getting cells i think that must just be from air bubbles uh but there it is i'm going to clean up and i'll bring you in for a close-up and we will see what this looks like under a black light okay here it is you can see the edges have started to dry uh, I'm liking the bud part. I like the way the petals look there. So what I did in there, I need to do again. But I think when I am spinning and pouring, I need to be more in the center. I was kind of off center because I was trying to get the petals to overlap. But as you can see, they get a little crazy. It's all right, they just kind of look like petals that have been plucked. Just use the imagination. But the real spectacular stuff happens when you do that. Yes, yes. It looks so cool. I'm loving these black light paintings. I'm gonna have to get a black light to just hang instead of my flashlight. But yeah, I am digging that. But you can see it is just so cool coming a little more orange in the uh, picture here. It's a little more pink in person. I don't know if that will adjust, but I love it with the black light. So there it is, uh, another attempt at the rose. This time I got my center how I want it, but not the outside. The next time I think is going to be the winner. Cross your fingers for me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe. Do not forget to click that bell so that you get notified of uh, new uploads as they happen. Be sure to check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. There is an Arteza link to purchase these paints. And I would receive a small commission and no additional cost to you if you purchase through that link. Uh, the same goes with the Amazon link. Anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, if you use that link, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. Fluid Art Inspiration Cards, you can get those on my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can also purchase my art and my music. The link for that is also in the description box. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I'm always forgetting something. Oh, our group, go, go Make Some Art, join us over there. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. Uh... Oh, the, the PayPal tip jar. If you feel so inclined, there's also now a Venmo tip jar. They don't take cut Venmo, so I do like them. Uh, I've been using them a lot with tipping musicians on the interwebs. That is uh, how we've been showing love to each other. Basically been sending $5 bills back and forth. <laughs> but... Uh, all right. Well, that's it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay corona free. Don't touch your faces. That's the order. Go make some art. That's an order too. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching.